Well, Roland, this is Robin Miller, Marshall Pruitt. The uh, 2017 IndyCar Championship wrapped up today here in Sonoma. Beautiful day. <sighs> A kind of a boring snooze fest race, as we predicted. Roger Penske's team was executed perfectly. They protected Joseph. Joseph New York drove a hell of a race. Roger's walking right behind us, too. The there goes RP. We asked him there. if he ever gets tired of winning. I don't think he does. But it was New Garden took off, and they all. And then Pagano went on that great strategy Kyle and made Moyer. it fun. Kyle Moyer, Pagano went on strategy. Tell the people what the strategy was. And, and our guys in the booth, who are usually right on it, said, I don't think you can go for stops without a yellow. Well, it did end up working out perfectly. Kyle Moyer, great call. As he said, if we just stay where we are, do what everyone else is doing, we're going to finish third. We're not going to get ahead of Joseph. So they called him in early. He was first to stop among their team, went on to a four-stop strategy, used red, red, red until uh, towards the very end, went on to blacks or a little bit slower, but extended those stints on red. So really smart. He gassed it up. Man, Simon on reds when everyone else is on blacks. What did he do, Robin? 15-second lead. 16 second lead just killing him and so fun to watch he was on reds for the first three stints and then he finally had to put on blacks and that was their strategy the whole time but i think uh i mean pagano went down fighting and pa will power said my job was just kind of keep me and elliot were just kind of keep dixon between us and they did i mean that's why they're that's why it's a great team dixon as well best in class i mean that guy he said after the race, based on their calculations, Robin, how many hundreds of pounds of downforce were they shy compared to the Chevys? 500. That's like half of my weight that they were missing on the car. Amazing. So if we're just looking at maximum downforce numbers, there's a reason why Scott Dixon and the other Honda drivers were in a uh, second league. We predicted that coming into here. Now, granted, when I gave my predictions for Watkins Glen that it was going to be a Chevy route, I was completely wrong. But we did know for sure this was going to be a Chevy party. It absolutely was. Dixon put in a heck of a drive. Graham Rahal put in a heck of a drive. There are a lot of great drives behind the snooze fest up front. But unfortunately, we're just talking about folks who had a great day. Two, seventh, eighth, ninth. Right. I think, I think, I think uh, was Dix fifth and Graham sixth. Maybe that's how it ended. But here's the thing about Dixon is he can't wait for next year because everybody's going to have the same aero kit. And we think Honda might have a little horsepower advantage. Yeah, but yes, as we end today, I think everybody agrees that the, uh, the Hondas were the wicked, wicked beasts of the year. This year was a low development year for engines, though. 2018, that's one of the more open years where both Honda and Chevy can do big things, big ideas. So I would say Chevy will be putting a lot of effort into coming back and making sure we're talking about the bow tie being the motor to have next year. And, and the thing that's interesting is there's a lot of theories going out about Chevy's going to run, make Roger run four cars next year, and he's not going to downsize the three because they need another bullet. They won 10 out of 17 races this year, folks. And LAO won one. And the other boys won the rest of them. So uh, Castroneves has had a great career, and he was very, he was, I think he was very honest, you know. I mean, I think he, he knows that that was probably his last full-time ride, but he'll still be at Indy because he keeps saying, I could still win Indy a couple more times. And, you know, that's, that's, that's exactly what you get when you're loyal to Roger Penske. You get the best ride for 20 years, and then you get a great sports car ride, and then you still get to run the Indy 500. Yeah, there were some stories published this week, not by you and I, saying that Elio could be back next year. Elio's going to be back next year, just not here, just not full-time. That's been the plan. That's the plan. We understand it. You've seen some things this week that leave no question about where Elio will or won't be driving next season. So unless something changes between now and the start of next year, uh, the plan is Elliot won't be here again, as we spoke about a day or two ago. Could there be a fourth car still? It's possible. Sure, you can change but, your mind. Uh, it just won't be our Brazilian friend. And the thing of it is, he probably drove, we did a little interview with him a minute ago. He drove as well as he's ever driven. And uh, it's just so competitive, Marshall. Uh, first first American winner since Ryan Hunter Ray, Joseph Newgarden, first American champion, I should say. And the talent level, Rossi, Piggott, Daly, all these kids. Give him a little bit of chance, and, and I, I think, you know, Graham is still a kid. So 
it's uh, it's going to be an interesting next couple of years with the new aero kits. And uh, but but I think from, before we close the book on Castro Neves, he's been one of the most popular drivers for a long time and a great fan of the friend of the media. Amazing ambassador, amazing ambassador, go-to guy for quotes. You can mess with him. We can't repeat or print a lot of the conversations. He has a lot of character and a wild and a vivid imagination that certainly is not meant for publication, but we love the guy. We're going to miss him just like we miss Monte Monterrey. crazy ass. So we're at that stage where we've known and you guys have known that some of our older friends, heroes, champions are getting ready to move on to other forms of the sport. We're still going to have Kanan. He's going to be the go-to guy right. for a while. So, uh, but yeah, we're, uh, we're going to miss him, but I'll at least still get to see him when I do my sports car stuff. That's right. And I think um, Montoya's told me a couple times, man, it's really a cool car to drive. I hate to think of myself as a sports car driver, but it's fun to drive. So, what uh, was today a good day for Americans? Today was an amazing day for Americans, so we're crowning Joseph Newgarden at the end of the day. We got here starting off with two other Americans in the Pirelli World Challenge Series, Patrick Long, Californian badass winning another world, uh, world good lord I cover the series too Pirelli World Challenge GT champion Patrick Long and in GTS awesome Lawson Oshenbach won uh, that title as well so three American champions crowned today at Sonoma Raceway the, uh, the top of all though Joseph Newgarden I mean this is a kid if we're just shedding love and appreciation, Robin, Mazda Road to Indy product, obviously went to Europe, got some education there. But if we're honest, he didn't really impress a lot of people in Europe, but I think he took what he learned, came back here on the road to Indy. Uh, when's the last time you and I were talking about, oh, this American kid has potential, young, younger kid, to holy cow, he just knocked off Pagano, Power, Dixon, Hunter A, Borde, Ray Hall, this is something you and I, and I think a lot of fans who've been writing into the mailbag saying, Miller, we need more Americans. America, you got a champ. You got a champ, and good for Cendric and Penske to finally realize you better not let this guy get away. And we're sad that Monterey got bumped, but Monterey, Mon Juan even said, the timing is right. I mean, I didn't have a contract, and you can't, you can't pass on this kid. I think Montoya told him he wasn't mad at him. He just said, I, you know, I don't want to be a sports car driver yet, but I, I get it. I understand. You got to you got to sign this guy if you can. So congratulations to Newgarden. He's not from Scandinavia. He is an American. Joe Newgarden. Joseph. Joey. Pal Joe. And uh, Marshall Pruitt and I have fun talking to you kids all year. And thank, thank you for watching. One of the fun and just crazy things we've spoken about this recently, we don't do this stuff expecting anyone to say any, you know, anything nice. We expect the negative. That's just normal in this day and age. But it's been pretty amazing. Just all the folks saying either love it or keep doing it. So it's just two idiots here rambling away. But, but they, like the pod, they like the podcast better because they don't see our face. My, the, my wife loves the podcast for that very reason too. Right. So. so keep reading. Keep watching Racer TV. Racer TV. TV. We're keep, leaving these in, by the way. I'm not editing any of them out. Keep, what is it today? Because you make up a every damn day. name every time. All right. Keep reading Racer.com and okay. Racer Magazine. Got it. Marshall Pruitt's blogs. Our blogs hey, we together. Don't blog. We're adults. We don't blog. Jesus Christ, Miller. We're writers. We're reporters. Keep on. blog. You're 67. You blog. Almost 68. No, sorry. I can't even remember. Keep watching Just Marshall Pruitt's podcast. Our, pat, our podcast. Dinner. Watch Racer dot com. Watch Racer. Read Racer dot com. <laughs> Read Racer magazine. You've never made me laugh like this. You're a dick. Thank but you. we like him. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was good. We can leave all that in and be great. What?